Hey there guys, welcome to our new LP. This is A Legion of Gaia. I'm going with the US version. This game in Europe was known as A Legion of Time, so I assume there are some differences. Even if it is just the title screen here. So here's the second in the Soul Blazer um, series, I guess you could call it. It's, it's actually quite a bit different than Soul Blazer. For one, the graphics are much better. This came out in 1994. Um. The graphics are much better, the sto there's actually kind of a story, because Soul Blizzard didn't really have much, let's be honest here. Until the last, well, they had a bit of the last areas and stuff like that, but not really too much. And uh, the gameplay is actually a lot different here, you actually technically have more than one character. I say technically because, well, you know what, we'll get into it. We'll get into it when we start the game. Uh, yeah, it's a lot more story based, you'll see. And it is a lot more linear than Soul Blazer. And if you wait on the title screen, you'll get thrown into Mode 7 mode here. Because uh, Quintet really likes Mode 7 graphics. They used it a lot in Actraiser. They actually didn't use it that much in um, Soul Blazer, I found. From what I could see. So, yeah. They, they use it at pretty much any point they want to. Okay, let's move the microphone a bit. So remember, this is going to be a lot different because we're not resurrecting the world like we were in Soul Blazer. It's more uh, preventing the world from being destroyed, so immediately it is a bit different. So we don't start out in a town where everyone's basically dead, or, you know, in the. So uh, enslaved, I don't know. The souls of the dead are just floating there. Though that does happen, we'll see it. Spirits do play a role in this. So yeah, I, I already played the US version when I went to play this game, so I'll just stick with the US version. I don't know how much the European changes are. And we can barely see that text there, because it's in white text. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Mmm, traps, huh? And mode 7 mode. You don't get to name your character in this. Your main character is called Will. But we'll get to that. So, the main, the first part I'm going to be doing is basically going to be story based, honestly. Uh, the first dungeon I don't really have much problems with. I know I've, I've complained about the, um, let's press start now. I know I've complained about the um, dungeon layouts, but the first few aren't too bad, honestly. Right, okay, so I've already erased my other files. You have three um, save files you can choose from, let's just pick this, and you can also change your um, uh, type around, I'm going to keep my music on um, stereo obviously, and we can just start. And this game begins like any good game and starts in school. No. Why is it? Why are we in school? Why does it have to be here? Right. Now it's quite easy to skip text in this game by using the arrow keys, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna take my hand off the arrow keys during my um when I'm just um going through text here. So like any good GRPG your your parents are missing. Now get used to this text, uh, they change the colours. I think it's pretty much the same as in Soul Blazer, the text. That, that is the bell going, by the way. They change the colours for, uh, depending on who's speaking. Which is quite a nice uh, appearance. So, the purple guy over there is called Seth. The, the, the other kid is called Eric. And this guy here is Lance, who's apparently donning the green text. So here we have Will. Now his weapon of choice is a flute. Yes, I'm not kidding, he, he really uses a flute to attack. And if we go up to the school here, what the hell is this? Dark space. What's going on here? Let's go up and talk to you. Hey, Gaia! You were in the first game, but you were called the master there. What's up with that? 
dark power. That doesn't sound good. Oh, so you're, you're going to let me save here. You, al you also heal whenever you go and talk to Gaia. She will completely heal you. He or she, or it. And ask you... There's not much else you can do here, but uh, there's a bit of foreshadowing there. By now, I would be I would be so freaked out if I see this. Yeah, this is a thing we're gonna learn about. Yeah. And we can go and talk to people. Well, I guess can't really stop you. No, you can't. Uh, now, if we go down here, we can find a red jewel. Now, red jewels are basically. Uh, here's my item screen, by the way. Notice that the background is actually the final background for the final screen in Soul Blazer, or the final fight, which is quite interesting. You keep it as that as the background. They do reuse uh, a bit of stuff. Uh, now, red, you can equip anything and then use it. So, the thing about red jewels is, if you use them, they will fly to the jeweler. Now, I'll talk about him now. So basically, that will be sent to the jeweler, and you'll you'll gain some more space um, because you only have that much inventory space there. To run, you can uh, just press um, arrow keys twice. This is the jeweler guy. He's Gem, original, and he got my first jewel. Just wanted to see you. Uh, he's also a master of disguises because he's always changing his uniform in other towns. So one of the things is we'll get bonuses depending on how many red jewels we bring him. There's 50 in the game as you can see so we're gonna try and get every one of them. Some of them are pretty annoying to see, um, are pretty annoying to get I should say. Alright let's go down here. Holy shit, just got thrown stuff. This is Seth's house. What the hell's going on here? Hmm. Staring at wall time. Hmm. <laughs> bit of a bit of uh, family matters to take care of there, apparently. What are you saying? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this game. Uh, can get a little mature, especially at certain points. Uh, so go into this house here. This is Lance's house. He talked to his mom here. Yeah, yeah. Now, like a good friend, we're gonna go downstairs and rob um, Lance of his red jewel here. Did his mom just go downstairs while I was going down? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, we're gonna walk around town a bit. It's quite peaceful here, to be fair. So, the place that we want to go to is down there at the cave. Now, there is an annoying thing which I need to get here, which is basically, you could keep e entering and exiting this place. Seaside cave here. Oh, it looks like we got a cutscene first. Yeah, okay. Basically, there's this fisher guy, uh, fisherman that spawns here, but he does so pretty randomly, so you got to keep entering and exiting. Basically, what we're doing this to do is to get a red jewel, but uh, I figured I would keep doing, I, I wouldn't keep doing this, uh, so I'm gonna cut it, and I'll be right back when we see the guy. Okay, guys, I eventually got him. So go and uh, get the red jewel out of his pack. And, uh, yeah, there's no other reason to talk to him, but that's where you get your third, uh, bread jewel. Wait a minute, he says. And then... Want news. I, I like, I love the reaction here. Just watch. That's all? Really? <laughs> no one gives a shit. <laughs> Liar! I want a steel helmet too. We are strange, okay. Yeah, what are we gonna do? 
basically you need to go and stand over here. Show me again, huh? Well, this is where your telekinesis comes in handy. As you can see, as long as you face it, you can bring stuff over. Look at that. Oh, a bit of a psychic um, trick we're doing here. Pick any card. Any card. Ace of Diamonds. Okay. Any card you pick here will be the Ace of Diamonds, you know. Uh, so I'll pick the one in the end. It's the Ace of Diamonds, of course. Well, to be fair, uh, even a normal person would have a 25% chance. Oh, and magic, huh? I like how they separate all these uh, the senses here into their separate te text boxes, like, completely pointless. Huh? I have the sixth sense. And they play the game. Well, this is when you can leave, and you'll notice it's getting dark outside. Well, off we go then. Yeah, what's this fisherman got to say? Right, we'll take a little um, a visit to um. Hey, yeah, she picked that thing up there. Take a visit to um, Gem there. He should still be there. There he is. Give you red, red jewels. Now there's three of them, which means I get a herb. I believe there's only around um, twelve herbs in the game, and basically they're your normal healing items, uh, which I have equipped. I think it will still ask for you to um, use it. What if you do use it with the other button? This should be our house. Yes. You'll you'll realize what pie that is later. But, of course, we have a pig in the house. What the hell, man. Yeah, oink oink, sure. And then, it just starts pushing me. Like, I don't even move, it just starts pushing me. It's just like, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing in my house? Miss, Mrs. Pink Text. It already says this is Kara. I'm pretty sure. Excuse me. What a bitch. Omen is your name of your father, okay? Shut up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, there's. <laughs> No piano. Fucking look at that pig. Yeah, let's go talk to them, see what the hell is going on here. What what is happening? Yeah, what? Yeah, who was she? And then of course, scream. Let's go. I, I, yeah, <laughs> Trent brought this up. Why does the guy phrase it like a question? I don't, I don't understand why he does that. This game has a little bit of English, but it's not too bad. At least I don't remember it being too bad. Oop. Also, I like how it doesn't even show her being dragged. It's just like she's standing up behind the soldier. Yeah, I, I pretty much got that. Especially since Eric already said you had escaped. And I like how these two just don't give a fuck afterwards. They're just like, no, nah, whatever. You go talk to uh, her, though. Oops, I skipped that. Yeah, the arrow keys are really annoying because you can't skip text with it. So, oh well. 
I need to stop doing that. Let's eat. Yeah, guess what pie it is? It's like snail pie. I'm pretty sure it does say that. So apparently I'm meant to go upstairs, okay. Why does it have to be upstairs? Snail pie with whipped green. Aha. Uh -huh. Something began to happen. We go downstairs, we go talk to these two. Yeah, I actually get something. Ooh, we get a letter. Crystal ring. Doesn't actually hum it. Oh, there we go. There we go. We get the first melody in this game, because we do have a flute, right? So it looks like we got to go to the king this place. So let's go do that. This guy's guarding it. So I'll go talk to him and he'll let you out of the city. Now we get to the map screen, which basically just uh, asks you where you want to go and then you just select it. Then you see mode 7 taking you to the place. All of the mode 7 in this game. I can't say it doesn't look good though. The graphics are definitely better than Soul Blazer. Right. Yeah, I actually have a letter, so GG. Right, now we are going to go and talk to Kara first, but first there is a guy somewhere. I don't know if it's this section, but there's someone behind the pillars that you can talk to. Or is it that guard that just... yeah, there he goes. If you follow that guard... He'll give you a uh, red jewel just out of there. So there's an R1 you can get. If we go up here... You know, be careful, huh? What's going on here? Red text, huh? soldier. Anyway, we go all the way over here. We can talk to this guy. And Kara is over here. I'm a shabby boy, apparently. Tch. God damn it, I gotta stop clicking. The essential thing is, basically, I got a crystal ring, uh, I, I have to bring the crystal ring to the king, and I don't got shit. <laughs> I do not have that, so yeah. Let's go. Okay then. Nah, I'll just leave you there. <laughs> right, okay, time for dungeon time, right? We're getting there. Seriously, this intro is uh, setting up a lot. Go up here. And go talk to the king. Everyone's saying I'm shabby. So you say yes or no here, it doesn't make any difference. Because you don't actually have the ring, so let's lie. Just to piss him off more. He'll still do the same thing, even if you say no. And he'll send you in the prison. And then he's gonna rob our house. I don't think they find it anyway, because we can. Well, that, that's punctuation. The return of punctuation. Next thing you know, you're in a prison. You can find a way to get out of here. 
Someone was chained. Oh, that's not great.